one, sir. Inverse is multiplied by 3 on both sides. 6 threes are 18. Put it back into double check. 18 divided by 3 is 6. We're happy. 7t, that means 7 lots of t. It means 7 times by c at t. So the inverse is divide by t. 50... <laughs> Can you tell it's Monday morning first period? The, div the opposite is divide by 7. Apologies. 56 divided by 7 is 8. Put it back in, 7 eighths of 56. Those are both one-step equations, so worth one mark. Two-step equation, we've got two things with the H. We've been doing this with a bit of revision in my class, and we've talked through that there is not one right way to do this, but there is always an efficient way to do it. You have a times by 2 and a takeaway 5. You could divide by 2 first. That's the least efficient way to do it. More often than not, get rid of the thing that's plus or minus first. That's what we'll do here. Inverse of minus 5 is add 5. So this side's left to be 2h equals 9 plus 5, 14. I've kept my equal sides in line. I've kept the things on the left and the things on the right. Now, the opposite, the inverse of times by 2, is divide by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. I could have divided everything by 2 first, but it would have left me with fractions to work with. Notoriously more difficult. Put the 7 back in. 2 7s are 14. Take away 5 is 9. Perfect. We're happy.